A rare sight of the northern lights in the south, like the ones from yesterday, had many people with their eyes to the sky tonight. On your side, Zach Wilcox joins us live from the Jacksonville Beach Pier. And Zach, many of those stargazers left disappointed. Yeah, Riley, there was lots of folks down here on the pier and down on the beach from the pier. They had the phones out. They were taking the pictures in night mode. They were taking the pictures with the flash on whatever they could do to try and uh, get a shot of the purple, but a lot of those pictures wound up looking a little something like this. Not a lot of purple in that picture. I'm not exactly a skilled photographer either, a little blurry, but uh, you get the idea. And while those northern lights have already probably become somewhat of a memory or tucked away in the memory banks for some folks from last night, I talked with one UNF professor who mentioned that they will be playing a role in his classroom. Usually when I ask my students, they're, they, they just say, oh, Oh, that's beautiful, but, you know, when am I going to get to Norway, you know, to see these things? UNF theoretical physics professor Jason Haraldson teaches a course called Discovering How Things Work. One of the topics, the Northern Lights. When he asks his students next semester if anyone has ever seen them, he's expecting a few more hands to go up. I'll, I'll now have students that possibly have seen the auroras. Haraldson gave me a crash course on how the auroras work. The sun will uh, basically eject a whole bunch of particles out into the into space and if the earth is in the right position it runs into those particles and what happens is those particles get caught in the earth's magnetic field. Haraldson says they're typically only visible at the poles where magnetism is the strongest but this particular burst created enough to stretch down to Florida. However, Friday's gorgeous purple hues weren't nearly as vivid Saturday for folks like Hildy Roberts. I thought it would be like no light pollution and try to see it. But I figured, you know, that's north, so I might just keep looking that way. Even if Roberts can't get the perfect shot, Haraldson says she may still be able to see the cause of the lights if she saved her eclipse glasses. Sunspots are basically uh, black spots that, that form on the on the sun. Because they're so, it's so large, it's producing this massive ejection of particles that is, is producing these auroras. So Haraldson mentioned that the auroras may be kind of hit or miss over the next couple of days, but the sunspots will definitely be there. And if you bust out those eclipse glasses tomorrow, like he'll be doing, you should be able to see them on there. He mentioned it's kind of like a scad. That's the analogy that he used, that the sun will eventually repair it, but that's not exactly something that's going to happen overnight. But I figure since we're already out here and it's still nighttime, I might get back to taking some more pictures and just maybe, maybe we'll be able to see some purple. In Jacksonville Beach, Zach Wilcox, First Coast News, on your side.